Hello friends and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is November 15 and the title of our devotional is Words in My Mouth, written by Melinda Ferguson. The Bible verse is found in Romans chapter 8 verse 26. For we do not know what we should pray for as we out, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Melinda writes, here and there are stories of various people who prayed very specific prayers and received amazing answers. We have Gideon and in modern times, Amy Carmichael, who prayed very specific prayers and received exact answers. Jesus promised us in John 14, 13, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified. He also inspired Paul to write in Romans 8:26 that one of the functions of the Holy Spirit is to help us in our weakness. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us. When I was 15, I learned the validity of today's text, Romans 8, 26. My family and I were away from our home church for several months because of my parents' work. Through a phone conversation, we learned that no one had filled the leadership void we had left in the church's children's department. I was... To put it mildly, madder than a wet hen. When I had some time to think for a bit, I decided that one, I needed to get an attitude change, and two, our church needed prayer because they could lose the young people if no interest was shown in them. I then proceeded to put my plan into action by praying specifically that whoever is supposed to be leading out will be unable to be comfortable with themselves until they step forward and start leading out. I had also planned to pray about my attitude, but in praying for others, my attitude started to change. Later, the lady who had taken over shared leadership with us during those three weeks told us that she had heard the appeal for help with the youth, and she had thought, I should be helping, but I don't feel qualified. Finally, in order to live with herself, she accepted the challenge. I had shared with her my prayer. Not always do we learn of such dramatic answers to our prayers. Yet God has promised to help us know what to pray for, to put words in our mouths. He loves to hear from us and then guides us when we pray. Melinda Ferguson lives in Rapid City, South Dakota, United States of America. At the time of writing, she was working as a registered nurse in the local hospital. Melinda enjoys helping out with various church programs, especially the music. In her spare time, she visits family and enjoys hiking in the Black Hills as well as reading. We should always remember that whether it's a difficult situation where we're asked to pray in, or maybe it's giving a word of encouragement to someone and you have no idea what to say. Just know that God will equip you with the tools and the words that you need for the right occasion. Just trust Him. I hope you're blessed. You enjoy today's devotional and I will see you again tomorrow.